fire breathers. These are your movement standards and coaching tips and notes for your home and gym warm-ups and workouts for 2019-01-11. Lucky double digit. Hope you've been enjoying your programming so far for the past two weeks. Um, so, home first. Your warm-up. Some of the movements that you have, if you haven't seen them before, you've got a low lunge and twist. Take a step forward. You can drop that back knee down to the ground and twist up. Hold, twist into that back. Switch leg, do it again. For your inchworm, leg straight, reach down to the ground, walk it out. You're going to drop it all the way down. Now you see me, now you know. Cobra press, up dog. Down into down dog. Walk those feet up. Walk it out. Okay. Open and close the gate. One leg open. Try to keep your hips square and close. You can step forward. Open. Close. Again. Open. Close. Look at my head. Okay. Reset. You've got a jog, then a run, and then a sprint. Pace is subjective. I honestly don't care if somebody looks at you and says, oh, they're out for a jog, oh, they're out for a run, and you feel like you're sprinting. It's on you. It's your level of exertion. You know your body. You know your pace. What I'm looking for here is you go through the stretches, and you're moving for a distance. You go through the stretches, and then you pick up the pace. You go through the stretches a third time, and you finish at a strong, stronger pace. It's going to be faster than your workout pace. Your workout for tomorrow for the home track is a distance four times. It says run. Ideally, I prefer if you do this outside and go until you hit the distance, or go half the distance, turn around, run back. Walk if you can't run, that's also perfectly fine. Leave that in the notes. If you have any other things that keep you from running or physically walking outside and you need to do it on a treadmill, that's fine. Again, do that same distance as it's called for in the workout. Leave it in the notes. If you need to do it on an erg, let me know. I will give you the distance on the erg in meters that you need to do for that because it's going to be different depending on your equipment. All right, and that's that for home. And for your gym, warm up. The biggest thing that I wanna talk about in your warm out is going to be your barbell movement that's warming you up for your plane. I'm gonna demonstrate with what I have here, um, and it's the flat pull down bar, so don't mind the edges, and it'll be interesting if I put my focus in the middle bar. So your barbell warm up, I want you to do it once with an empty barbell. Do it two or three times going up in weight, and then you can go ahead and dive into your wood rep. All right? You've got a deadlift, feet underneath your hips. This is weird for holding because this is the first thing. Then lift it up. Clean pull. Mission. I want you to really focus on extending through your hips. Supermaning and pulling that bar in close. Not high, but close. Okay. High hang clean. So you're in your power position, arms straight, you're in a hinge at the hip, and then that's it. Get underneath the bar as best as you can. Close. <laughs> Extend. Catch. Stand up. Other one. Hang clean. Power position, down to your knee. Up, another clean. From your shin. Okay. Deadlift, clean pull, high hand clean, hand clean, clean. Okay. Warming up. 
to your one rep. See how you get with it today. I want you big, strong, pull from the ground. Fast, strong, pull from underneath. Get under that bar, catch it strong, receive it strong, immediately drive back up into that bar, stand up. Your rep is completed. When you catch it below parallel, show control, stand up with the bar all the way, okay? For the Jim Metcon, you have a hero wad. I think it's the first that you have programmed this year. First of many, we love our hero wads. It is Holly Man, 30 rounds, right, of five wall balls, three handstand push-ups, one power clean at 225, 155, okay? This is a longer workout. You're looking at all heroes for the most part, unless it's a def definitely sprint, is at least going to be 30 minutes. Okay, if you can do it that's faster than that, then superstar, that's awesome. But more than likely, you're looking at 45 to 55 minutes, right? Maybe an hour, shouldn't really take that long. Um, wall ball shots are standard. If that ball is starting on the ground, remember you need to come to a full extension, squat, and then toss. Okay. If that ball is here, you cannot do this and go. That one would not count. One, two, three. Standard target flying. All right. Um, okay. So another point for your handstand push-ups. Your handstand push-up rep, same thing. You need to start at full extension of your arms and everything straight before you lower down. One, two, three, okay? Um, and then your power clean, so you warmed up with a squat, or you warmed up. Your strength was a squat clean. For your power clean, that's going to be from the ground up to your shoulders and catch no squat, but it is really heavy. So, um, I'm getting distracted by the people behind me, sorry. Okay, so more than likely, you're doing a lot of handstand push-ups. If you need to scale the number of handstand push-ups, I still need you doing at least one, if not three. Um, for the weight on the power clean, it should be heavy. So, pick a number that's challenging. You want to be able to turn from your handstand push-up, approach your bar, get set, and go. Not have it take too long. If it takes you more than 30 seconds to turn and grab that bar, or if you fail a lift, you're too heavy. So I want you to pick a number that's yeah, about maybe 80% of your one rep, depending on what kind of lifter you are. If you have any specific questions, let me know. I'll help you figure that out. All right. Have fun with this. And attack with fire. Put your mind in it. Do it well. Move well. Tag me. Wear your shirts. Can't wait to see everything. Can't wait to see your scores. Get fit.